How's it going everyone? Today I'm back once again here on Rec Room, this time with a Bendy and the Ink Machine fan. And so this is basically just only the first chapter, like I took a look closely at this like exact uh, game page right here and you know, it's, you know, the developer said that this was like the only chapter that was only remade on here. It was the first one and the gameplay screenshots everything looks super promising here so without further ado let's go ahead and dive right into this game right here shall we? but before we do any of that please be sure to like this video subscribe to the channel and if you are subbed turn on notification like turn on the bell for notifications for any other videos that might you know that I might go ahead and publish in the future you know if I was on like a really really lenient schedule or whatever the case may be in the future for this small little channel right here. But without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into this next scary looking remake of Bendy the Ink Machine on record, shall we? And this this looks cool, so let's go ahead and hop right in. Here we go. Oh, wow. This looks cool. So this is the lobby area. You know, it has that same kind of bendy style to it, like the old, like, 1920s company nature. Like, you go in the bendy meat machine, and this is how it is. You got the cardboard cutouts right here. You got, you got a whole lot of these, like, uh, you know, props and stuff. The art tables, like the canvas tables and everything like that. You got, like, the old-timey projector right here that will just show off the projections for the old, like, uh cartoons and stuff and this is only the lobby so the rest of this game is going to look very incredible joey drew studios wow man this is this is insane right here so let's go ahead and it's probably going to teleport me somewhere so it's going to load me into a loading screen as always so yeah let's go ahead and hop into here shall we got some little bendy heads okay let's go ahead and yeah go shall we Alright, Joey. I'm here. Uh oh. Let's see what you can find when you want to meet us. <laughs> Some of the voice lines from the actual game itself. Now, I did play uh, Bending the Ink Machine in the past, and it was a fun experience. Some really good scares, and really did love the style of the game. So, let's just go ahead and. wander around here, shall we? So there's a cardboard cutouts right here and the projectors going off. Nothing showing up on the screen there. Got the canvases and everything. Wow, this looks cool. So pretty much the first chapter remade in this little horror adventure series. A little, little adventure right here. Got a little bendy thing right there on the wall. Just draped up there. Not causing a whole lot of attention to itself and oh gotta jump over this okay well never mind uh, where did I go here okay so this just leads me right here to the ink place huh we got ourselves like a ooh, battery does this have the oh there there um Okay, so do. Oh, I need to place them in there. Okay, gimme. Okay, so I, need, I just need to place both of those in there. Crank this bad boy down. And it's gonna bring up the ink machine. Ooh, this, is, this looks exciting right here. And some of that bendy ambience in the background. Some really epic. Some really epic and uh, dramatic music there. Well, I didn't expect for that to happen. Okay. So I just brought up the... So this is the machine, huh? Wonder how you turn it on. Yeah, I wonder how you turn it on as well, man. Uh, just a sinister, yet friendly-looking cardboard cutout just sitting right there having its own little fun. Okay, so let's just go ahead and go back and do whatever, I think, right? Yeah, let's go. So we uh, rose up that 
ink machine from the darkest uh, depths of this entire like studio here. And if we just wander around here a little bit more, we need to like power on that machine, right? I remember. Sp spooky. Where did that even come from, huh? The ceiling looks a little intact, but it's just how it is. Like, there's another door that leads over to there. There's another one. They're all. They all lead to like different parts of this entire. Let's just explore the rest of this before we do anything. That doesn't open up to anything else in particular, nor does that. Got some more of these uh, bendy posters. Little devil darling. Isn't that fun? Work hard, work happy. And make sure that you don't... That sound was kind of delayed. <laughs> yeah, that sound was a little delayed, yeah. You, you tried your best, man. You know what, I'm just gonna cut some slack on your part. I mean, you, you tried a little bit to just scare the living daylights out of me, but that didn't work. You know, I was walking down the hallway, you popped up your head, and you know, you were a second too late with that sound. But it's fine, I mean, I don't really care. All right, we got ourselves a third door. And hop into here. Project room, projector room. Okay, so what do we got to start from here now, huh? Poster's covered up. There's those little bendy plushie just sitting right there. Yeah, we do need that for something in particular, though. Now, what is this? So, do we just turn that? Probably not. Maybe at some point. Oh! Yeah. That's nice. So, nothing in here. We got some bacon soup cans littering the shelves, though. I mean, there's only like four of them. Just to make sure there isn't anything else up there. Yeah, there's still some posters hidden behind some of these curtains here. Some of that old history just hiding away, from, you know, behind these walls. Well, I guess there's nothing in here, you know, nothing else in here that I need to do. Other than collecting that item. Yeah, we get it. Well, uh, let's go ahead and go back into the main studio place. That's weird. Back in this abandoned uh, studio we go here, right? So there were two other doors that we could have went through, but those those two doors right there, we can't. Uh, what about this one? Oh, we can, actually. And that... I don't think we need to access that door over there ever again. That's good to know. Less access points, the better, right? Dreams come true. Do they? I mean, they kind of do. In some kind of way they do, but uh, some of those dreams that don't die easily or don't wither away, Joey Drew Studios, that's pretty cool. The little film reels just spinning in the background. Don't need to go in here. Nope, nothing there. So those other three doors are the only ones I could have gone through. I could go through there. <laughs> right. Okay, so this is... I don't know what room this is. Let's go through here regardless. Yeah, there's a whole lot of teleporting going on here. and Well, what do we need in this place right here? More empty tables. So we can, well, we can go through the chairs, but that's it. Uh, oh, oh, okay, so, I think after we triggered that, like, machine, where we had to put all these, like, you know, just a little, a spoiler here incoming, if you don't want to listen to this, then if you want me to figure it out later on, then, yeah, skip past a little bit to when I uh, load into the next section, but, right, okay, so, now I know what I, Okay, so I probably need to trigger that event to go into that room filled with those pedestals of these items they need to collect here, like grab that ink thing, grab that plushy thing. So that, so that's why all those rooms are teleportable, or you can just go through those rooms and just teleport into like different sections. Now, why aren't these rooms just interlinked with the hallway in here? Since that would that would have been less of a hassle. I have no idea, but hey, I'm not the I'm not the developers, so my words are. My words are useless, so yeah, in a way. So let's just go ahead and go back into the hallway and find that pedestal room, right? 
Here we go. Okay, back in this dingy place. Going to go find that little room. Here's the problem, though. I have no idea where it is. I just have no idea. These doors in particular are the ones that you can absolutely go through. So maybe... Wait, is this... No, I think that's the same one that I went through. Dang, everything looks... The, well, not everything looks the same, kind of. Everything looks kind of the same, but I don't know. That's just my eyes working weird. That's That goes down to that room with that little plushy thing. So maybe... Still going through here. Still, you know, not that scared of anything, really. Okay, same scripted jump scares. You know, can't go through there. So maybe... Let's go through here. Maybe there's something here. Alright, how do I get this to work? Oh, see? There we go. See, now it's... Now it's working properly. So, I found the little ink machine room. Or the power room for the ink machine. So, yeah. Pretty much, we have to go to those rooms, like the... You know, to find that little plushy friend. Find the little ink well thing. Find a gear. I think that was in that room where we rose up the ink machine with the two batteries. Find the wrench or spanner. And whatever this is. Maybe like some sort of instrument or whatever. I have no idea. I'm kind of uninformed about that. And I, I, I definitely do remember this. So let's go ahead and find each one of these items, right? I don't, I'm, I'm probably going to cut out the parts where we just go out into the hallway and just wander around a bit. Maybe if something happens, then I can absolutely resume that part. You know, whenever a jump scare might happen or whenever like a scripted thing happens. You know, anything like that. So, yeah. Let's just go ahead and find those items, shall we? Okay, so the only room that I have never, you know, been inside of is this one right here. So there's probably like an item that I need in here. So let's just go ahead and go in here and see what's new. Oh no, Boris. What did they do to you, my man? Okay, so there's the wrench. So let me just go ahead and pull this out. Yeah, so it automatically picks it up. Nice. So I don't have to, like, you know, go over to, like, some sort of area until it hits green and I just need to pick it up. Okay. So let me just go ahead and cut to the parts of me finding those other two parts. And, you know, so I just need, like, five more now. Awesome. So sorry, Boris, but, uh, that you've uh, ended up like this. Hearing those birds chirping. Okay. So there's the gear. Nice. Just slap my hand down on the thing and pick it up. That's how you pick up items, right? All right, let's just move on. So I was randomly uh, walking around, stumbling around these doors, trying to find where I need to go, and yeah, this is new. This is like a little dining hall, like a little break room, and yeah, I did walk around down here for a couple of times, and I did see this book, and this is another one of these uh, items that we need, so let's just, yeah, just simply headbutt into that table and just pick it up. Awesome. So sorry about for any sort of background noise that you might, you know, be able to hear, you know, accidentally, because I'm in a, you know, as I usually say, stuff happens, and there's a whole bunch of live stuff that pretty much happens in the background, and maybe, maybe in the future I'll be in like a quieter room, but for now I'm in, in a less kind of like atmospheric place that'll <laughs> just provide a whole lot of sort of quietness to it so yeah i've you know picked up like three items so i'm halfway done with all you know collecting them all uh, collecting all those items that we need so the other ones that we need are the inkwell the plushie and the what was that last one so i picked up the cogwheel yeah you know whatever if we you know randomly find it then chances are oh yeah musical note right or musical like note sheet or whatever. So yeah, let's just go ahead and back out into the hallway and look for that. Okay, so this is the room that I transported myself to. You know, this is like the cafeteria place. And, uh, okay, I don't know if there's like a collectible item that I need out in the hallway. Since there's like so many items that I need. Oh, the record! Maybe? No? Ah, yes, that's what we needed. Okay, so the record was out here just sitting in the freaking lobby area. Okay, so that was something. Right, so that was something that I needed. 
So now I need the inkwell and the plushie, you know, the bendy plushie, and uh, that's it. And we can just turn on the machine, it'll come to life, and it'll just start powering up the ink machine, just creating some of these uh, monstrosities, right? So I'll cut back to whenever we find uh, either of these items, so yeah. Oh, okay, there we go. So I accidentally went back into the ink machine station, and yeah, so all the items are on the pedestals now, so I, okay, I thought I just had to like, you know, keep these items in like an inventory or something, I just had to bring them back here, but okay, that's cool. So yeah, plushy, ink thingy, ink valve, like ink, ink bottle, just to put it into simple terms, and just not to over complicate everything low pressure, don't worry, we'll, you know, throw on this machine and let out another evil horror into the world, shall we? Okay, let's go back into here. Okay, so there's the little plushy friend. No acquired. Nothing else in here, right? Quite obviously. Other than a very, very loud uh, projector that likes to interrupt me. So thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. Yeah. Finally, after wandering around a bit for like, I don't know, a few minutes, finally found the room with the ink vial. Alright, let me pick that up. Cool. Can, I, can I pick it up? Uh, this is kind of tricky. Can I... Can I please have it? Can I please have the ink bottle, sir? Or person, even. Okay, really? Are you just going to do this to me like that? Yeah, this is the item that we need, though. Yeah, this is the item that I remember, like, from Bending the Ink Machine that we need. So why can't I pick this up? Do I just find, like, a sweet spot or something? Like, do I just need to do something like head up the table a little bit? Like this? I don't know, like, Usually whenever you just go over to somewhere, it'll pick up. So maybe... I... I... I'm lost. Maybe it's like a button that I need to interact with. No, no, no. Whoops. Didn't mean to open... Didn't mean to open that, sorry. Well... This is stupid. Are you kidding me? Wait, is it soft locked? I don't really want it to be soft locked. Okay, well, maybe there's like another ink bottle here on the table somewhere, though, right? Okay, well, I. Uh huh. This is the thing that I need, though. Working. I don't know. Well, there's a door open back here. That leads into darkness. Maybe if I peek. Nope. There might be something in there, but not from what I can tell. Can I please take the bottle? You scam. You scam sham. You scammy whammy thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> you scam. Just, just come on, let me take it. Let me take the dang bottle off your hands. Like, what is wrong with you? Arr, come on. Maybe I got all the items. Like, I don't know. Maybe I did. And it's like trying to count as like me collecting them all. Since I did collect that plushie. And the music record. Etc. Etc. I don't want to list them all. But, yeah. I don't know. Maybe this might be soft locked. I have no idea. Can I please take it? Take the ink bottle with the skull on it. Please. You know, I'll be right back whenever I actually do get it. Oh my gosh, dude. Finally, man. So I've been trying to grab this bottle, you know, like this off of the bottom shelf but I just you know and I came I went out of the room and I came back in 
you know, to see if that would absolutely work, because I thought I already, like, you know, I thought the game would have registered or something like that, that I'd grab the bottle in some shape or form somehow, but I just jumped over here, you know, freaking out over here, trying to get the dang thing, and I collected it. Okay. That took me, like, that took way longer than I than it actually needed to be. So, yeah. This poster is funny. I like it. It's a really nice little simplistic poster. Okay, well, I'll hurry on back to the power station and turn on the ink machine and let out Bendy. And just let him just absolutely stalk me down for absolutely no reason, right? Okay, so I'm going back to the ink station station right now, so, yeah, give me a sec. Okay, that's all. Now I just need to get the ink flowing somehow. Should be a switch around here somewhere. Then I can start with the main power. Right. So, yeah, we got all the items here on the pedestals now. That's cool. So, yeah, now it's at low pressure still, so I guess we have to go in and turn on that, you know, cog wheel that's in that other room that we found the plushie. See, we got the, the cog wheel right here, the gear. The wrench, the book, didn't even look like a book, kind of looked like a Kleenex box or whatever. Then there's the cute little non-sinister bendy plushie that we just found. And then there's the record piece, you know, the old, old vinyl just sitting right there. And the ink vial. I call this like a vial or something like that. Ink bottle. Or ink vial. They just think they mean the same thing. Okay, vial, bottle, whatever. I don't trying to flip-flop my words about for sure, but yeah, we have to go ahead and go back to that one place where we found that cog wheel on the wall, turn that on, and just let the ink flow, man. Come back here, turn that lever on, and just let Bendy out in the world once and for all, shall we? Yeah, going back now. Oh yeah, this is the room right here, so yeah, we just gotta turn this. Yeah, oh! Yeah, I don't think that's supposed to happen. Probably by uh, safety regulations, this is never supposed to happen at all. So, oh, yeah. I wonder if any of this is, oh, well, wasn't that something? Huh. Well, it doesn't even go down deep at all, man. It's just, huh. Well, let's go ahead and see what happens next. Oh, back here. Yeah, for some reason, that that was the only room that was flooded. The rest of the hallways and stuff was undamaged. Like, you know, there was no ink flooding that happened in any of the halls. So let's go ahead and, you know, turn on the main power. Yeah, turn that, turn that thing on. Let the ink flow. So, uh, what do I do now? Do I just exit out of here and see what happens? I don't know. Maybe we do. Maybe we don't. And we just acknowledge that we are probably in a dangerous place right now. But you know, let's go ahead and see what happens. Maybe we... You know, I have no idea. Let's just go. Okay. So do I go back to the ink machine now? See how that's going? Okay. Wait a minute. Huh? Yeah, for some reason, I was randomly teleported away from that one spot to another. Yeah, this room does abrupt the uh, immersion quite a bit whenever there's so many of these loading segments. I'm going to have to, like, add in a whole bunch of transitions afterwards, like, you know, whenever I edit this video. But I, th I think it's fine. I mean, it's not that much of a hassle, but probably for viewers and, you know, probably for you guys, it might be annoying so apologies if you know this is so irregular to happen in a video before but yeah this is the bendy chair oh hello hey bendy how you doing buddy okay so uh i guess i gotta run now right Teleported me into a brand new scene. I fell down a hole filled with pipes and stuff. 
see, now we gotta turn this valve ever so slowly. Okay, good. So that drained all the ink, and man, this music's bringing me back to whenever I first, you know, found out about Bendy back in 2017, thanks to People Planet, including Markiplier and some others. Danger, keep out. Yet, for some reason, music like this, from games that I do enjoy, you know, a few years ago, just brought so much nostalgia. Like, Bendy and the Ink Machine. This game, just seen the original Chapter 1 all those years ago. My gosh, man. Alright, so now we're going down here, and this is the last valve. Turn that baby all the way around. And the creator of life to us. Ooh. This is definitely coming in. <laughs> sure will, pal. Yeah. Just run through the board. Nice. Now look at that. It's an ink. Oh. I just didn't even finish. Didn't even get to finish whatever I was doing. Maybe the last one. But whatever. Not here. Wow, that was a really cool experience. You picked up the games and that other other guy, CI Shark. We got audio. Ah, it's just the end of the is so good. Nice cup of tea. Oh man, this is gonna make me just feel nostalgia. Special thanks to everybody who supported. In the right place. Oh! Oh hey Bendy! The cardboard cutout, how are you doing? Wow, okay. Uh, I know this is uncomfortable, but uh, how's it going? Did I just walk through you? Probably gonna get randomly teleported away, but... Okay, what's over here? Nothing at all. Is this... Is this uh, the end of the row for us, pal? I... think it might... be? I mean, this place is massive. Okay. Well, huh, it just randomly teleported me somewhere else. So, yeah. Welcome to the end screen right here. Let me just hop on top of these stairs. Yeah, the stairs of this game, like, sometimes the stairs just don't seem to work at all. And we got some more, like, Bendy memorabilia right here. Bendy. Bendy boost. Oh, Bendy Beast. I'm sorry. Yeah, let me just get that little like right here. And that looks sick, man. And I wish I would have just waited until I played Bendy and the Ink Machine on my channel. That would have been cool. And here's the Boris poster. Wait, I can get this? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, this Boris poster looks cool, man. And then here's the Bendy. Cardboard cutout. <laughs> Very cool indeed, man. Very cool indeed. Alrighty, everyone, so I guess that's it. Like, overall, dude, this game, like, this, like, a uh, fan recreation or remat, whatever, re thing that I can ever think of, like, reimagining or restylizing, you know, stylized in the rec room, this was really good. Really did bring me back a whole lot of memories to the. You know, like, Bendy looking all different, and just that Chapter 1 demo, and just waiting for, like, a couple of months for, like, Chapter 2 and 3 to just come out. Yeah, at one point, I didn't want to, like, just spoil myself for the rest of the game at all, so I just waited until one day I played through it. My word, dude. Yeah, this game was great overall. You know, at the end of all this, this was a pretty sick, uh... Pretty sick game, not gonna lie. Really awesome. Yeah, so the audio, you know, probably due to limitations, the audio really did sound a little... eh. I mean, hey. This was done by a smaller team, right? 
And then the loading segments were a little bit off as well. Maybe connected the rooms where it was a little good idea. You know, probably find a probably find a good way of just, you know, letting players just open up the doors and just access that other room and just walk in there and without having to teleport somewhere else and just to have like a like a very un I don't know how to put it, like inconvenient kind of way just to go through like different rooms and find like puzzle items. The props were all good. You know, the Bendy model was fantastic. Like these the style of this entire game right here really really does encapsulate that Bendy Meat Machine experience and still encapsulates that very old kind of like cartoonish era. Like the nineteen twenties, nineteen thirty I don't know, okay? I don't want to sound like a history nut or whatever because I kind of am. It's just that whenever I just explain things, they just don't even get across at all. But yeah, this was a really good fan remaster, like restylizing of um, Benny the Ink Machine. Overall, man, really cool stuff. Okay, so I know I'm rambling a whole lot longer than I needed to, but yeah, you guys nailed it. Nailed it on the head with this one. So yeah, before we end off the video, make sure to leave a like on this video, make sure to subscribe, and turn on the bell for notifications for even more videos that I will probably publish out in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching this, and I know I need to learn in future videos to not stretch out the end part for far too long, but yeah, thank you guys for watching this very, very interesting gameplay video of a bending beat machine restylizing fan game thing so chapter one of bending beat machine so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next video thank you guys so much for watching everyone see y'all